Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Redmi K20 Pro, also known as Raphael or Raphael In. Now today we are talking about a brand new ROM that is Octavi OS version 3.0 based on Android 12. That is the reason it is brand new. I've installed it since yesterday evening. I've been testing a lot of things and this is the quick review in which I'll tell you what is working, what is not working and should you try it or not. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe because we upload daily tech content based on smartphones with custom ROMs and you will really, really love the daily uploads. So also hit that notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really supports the channel. Apart from this, if you like chatting with different people who have the similar devices, well, please join us on Telegram because we have more than 1000 to 1100 people chatting and, you know, knowing new stuff every single day. We are active on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter as well. So join us there. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to PhoneOps. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so what do we have here? Octavio OS version 3.0 based on Android 12. This is the initial build released on the 24th of October, 2021. You have download source change log, screenshots and support groups for the device in ROM. Now, SE Linux is permissive. Use latest Android 10 firmware for your device region. Now, this is important because this is a ROM which is based on Android 12, but it is based off Android 10 firmware from MIUI. So that is good. Always make NAND backup be safe clean flash before reporting bugs based on oss vendor and soviet kernel donations and stuff like that so this is what we are talking about octavi os based on android 12 for the redmi k20 pro now one by one we will talk about the interesting bits in this particular rom but to begin with the first thing that you will notice when you boot into this rom is the home screen and the home screen comprises of the launcher now, if you look at the launcher this is your pixel launcher it does come with some customization although it doesn't really have a ton of customization but yes the amount of customization that it has is really really useful you have stuff like at a glance notification dots add app icons to home screen swipe to access google app that is the google now feed or google feed overview suggestions suggestions for all apps as you can see over here you can turn it on or off allow home screen rotation and then you have the about option so this particular launcher is coming in almost all the android 12 based custom roms and it is doing a really really great job you do have other launches like quick step and stuff like that but yes this one is working well so to the left if you swipe you do have your google feed or google discover feed whatever you want to call it and as i always keep saying this is a very very important factor for me the smoothness of google feed because even on my iphone for that matter if you have a look the moment i go ahead and unlock the phone i do have access to my google feed so you know i do go ahead and use the google feed a lot to be honest and that is the reason this is a very very important factor and for me the experience has been really really smooth really really stutter free as as far as the google feed is concerned now if you swipe from the top to bottom you will see that it is following the whole material you theming you have the power menu as always over here then you have your settings icon and you have the edit option to add additional tiles additional tiles like the privacy tiles of mic access camera access and location access are available and they work absolutely fine so that is something really neat you do have quick toggles for stuff like dark theme storage by google focus mode bedtime mode and live caption as well so the quick tiles are doing their job and their theming colors and contrasts are looking great now you do have the app drawer over here which has this sort of elastic -y animation and it works really really well at the bottom you do have google search bar with assistant and google lens and there are the shortcuts for google assistant which work absolutely fine now moving on if you actually go to settings if you actually go to the look of settings now this is the first android 12 based custom rom that i'm looking at which has changes to the way the settings menu looks now remember i said back in the day that with time android 12 roms will also start looking like other custom roms based on android 11 and octavi os is one of the first roms to take that step in the right direction now you do have a reorganized settings menu over here which looks really really neat we will talk about that in a bit but if you actually go to about phone over here, 
and you go to the Android version, you will see you have the Octavi OS logo over here. The version is 3.0, the name of the maintainer. It comes with the October security patch and the kernel is the Soviet Star kernel. Now, whenever you see the Soviet Star kernel from a performance point of view for the K20 Pro, that is always a good thing because I've never had any issues with this particular kernel. Now, let's go back to the home screen. You will notice that talking about Material U, the keyboard, follows Material U theming, which is really, really good. If you actually go ahead and open the calculator application, which is supplied with the ROM, it is following Material U theming. And if you also go ahead and talk about the calendar over here, let's have a look. There you go. The calendar is following Material U theming as well. Now, this is really, really exciting for me because let's, let's, you know, let me go ahead and show you the magic of Material U. So let's go to say change wallpaper. Right, so let's set this wallpaper over here and let's select pixel launcher. There you go. The theme changed in the quick tiles, right? So let's go and use maybe the keyboard. The theme changed over here. So you can go ahead and enable that feature of always show keyboard over here or not. And even if you look at say the calculator, it is following the theme and it looks really, really funky and neat. Trust me, it does. So. Yeah, the Google apps are following Material U theming, which is really, really neat. Even if you look at the Play Store, there you have it. Yes, the theming is working great and that's what makes Android 12 ROMs really, really exciting to use. Now let's actually go to settings and look at a few more options or customizations that the Octavio OS team have added before we actually go ahead and look at the benchmarks and talk about the performance numbers, right? So. If you go to about phone, you saw what happens. You have all the information you need over here. So if you go to system, you have language and input, you have front camera settings, right? So front camera using dialogue, you can go ahead and enable that. Front camera sounds and effects, you can go ahead and enable that. If you actually look at the camera application over here, you will see it comes with a very, very basic camera application. Do you want to raise the front facing camera? Yes, there you go. And it is working just fine. So when you open and close, all those options are there and you also have the option of calibration. So you can go ahead and calibrate the front camera as well. There you go, this calibrating. Calibrated successfully, you can now open the front camera, right? So you can go ahead and disable this. Then you have the gestures option, quickly open camera. To quickly open camera, press the power button twice, works from any screen. So let's try this as well. There you go. That worked like a charm. System navigation, we are using gesture navigation. You have one handed mode. So let's go ahead and swipe. As you can see, you have the option to quick share, nearby edit. You have these options as well, as you can see. Unfortunately, I did not see the expanded screenshot option. So that is something maybe they, they will add later, right? But for now, under gestures, you have all these options. Moving on, if you actually go to backup, you do have an advanced backup option. Now, trust me, before I got the iPhone as my primary device, I would have had to, you know, go ahead and backup stuff every single day. And this does give you sort of a better UI and more control over backing up your data directly to Google. So that is something really, really neat that they have added. Moving on, you have the system updater over here. You have rules which you can go ahead and create and you have system UI tuner. Now, right now you just have status bar customization. You don't really have a lot of options. So say don't show this icon and yes, it is working. Always show percentage and stuff. And I'm pretty sure with each and every build, they will keep adding features one by one. So that is something really neat. Now moving on, apart from this, if you go to the next option, you have network and internet, which is your usual stuff. And then you have connected devices for Bluetooth and you have your location access, which will give you granular control over your location settings. And then you have apps, notifications, and you have battery. Now, unfortunately in battery, you don't really see the option of thermal profiles. Maybe they will add that later. And if you can see over here, 10 hours and four minutes left. If you talk about the battery usage, unplugged two hours back, one hour screen on time, we're still at 80%. So as I said, the charging speeds are pretty good. The battery backup is pretty good. And this ROM is proving to be a decent daily driver, if not super amazing, right? Now moving on, if you actually go to sound, you do have the clear speaker option and you have the MI sound enhancer with hi-fi enabled as well. 
so that is there so all these options are present and they work absolutely as they are expected to work right now for devices which support high refresh rate that option has been added unfortunately the k20 pro has a 60 hertz display so we don't see that particular option over here right now moving on you do have a lot of focus on privacy in android 12 as you can see you do have things like privacy dashboard privacy manager permission manager you have google location history ads and if you actually go to notifications over here you do have an option to add and enable notification history as well so you know all the android 12 specific features are working just fine you can look at this animation see this always on display which is working like a charm now one thing that i noticed with the fingerprint scanner is they've implemented it in a different way so you lock the screen if you try to unlock it while you're on always on display it will first wake up the screen and then it will unlock your device and for me most of the time that has been working fine i've not had any issues but yes they are sort of using a workaround to give you always on display and fingerprint unlock as well it does support dual sim wi-fi and all basic functions are working fine i've not had any issues there even if you talk about safety net it is passing just fine i've not tested widewind l1 right so that i think will be working fine as well but before we go ahead and conclude about octavio os let's go ahead and actually talk about the benchmark numbers in which first we will talk about the cpu throttle test now look at this this is the soviet star kernel i know the average score is low but cpu throttle to 89 percent of its max performance the average score is 167 830 gips and if you talk about geekbench over here let's go to geekbench real quick 741 single core 2537 multi core for geekbench so decent scores and if you talk about n2 to benchmark over here you do see 533982 so a decent score there as well although it's not you know something really really high or really really amazing so one last thing in settings if you go and if you click on search and search for the game dashboard unfortunately you don't have the game dashboard i really hope the octavi team will add it in the future so for a first build based on android 12 stable octavio os team have done a really great job you can definitely go ahead and install it and use it as a daily driver you might not get the best esports gaming performance but for a casual gamer this is a good rom give it a try flash g cam or even anx camera if that works and you should be good to go let me know in the comment section what do you think about this review of octavio os for the redmi k20 pro until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.